Good morning and welcome to Southern Homes and Lifestyles. I'm Tonya St. Romain. Today we're in a small college town in Mississippi, but there's nothing small about this gracious Mediterranean villa that sits on 42 acres. We'll take a tour and travel around the world to see what inspired its international flair. It's all coming up next on Southern Homes and Lifestyles. this size and with this much detail and complexity takes a lot of planning. After five years from start to finish, everything came together in a melting pot of good taste. When building their Mediterranean style abode, homeowners David and Kara Chase weren't clueless on how their finished home should look. Their experience of years of travel Exposure to a variety of architectural styles and a refined taste all came together in the creation of a design notebook. They used that for the final blueprints. Architect Ronald Garner was in on the ground floor, and as he'll tell you, this project would become one of his greatest passions as the home emerged from a cobbled together design notebook into a spectacular estate. When the homeowners first came in, they were uh, very well-traveled people that had been exposed to a lot of different styles of architecture all over the world. The front of the house has a circular driveway with a fountain in the center. That was one of the requests from the owner. The rear of the house has an arched colonnade running from end to end that terminates in a poolside bar slash outdoor kitchen just off the swimming pool area. One of the requests made by the owner was for tall ceilings. So right inside the front door, you enter into a full two-story tall barrel vault coffered ceiling with a half turret end uh, in which you see a spiral marble staircase. You proceed down an arched and columned main gallery that gives you a view of a 14-foot high elliptical barrel vault ceiling formal dining room the dining space is three steps down into the dining room, which allowed for a 14-foot ceiling. The dining room is directly opposite a full two-story living room that has a 23-foot ceiling in it. There's a continuous balcony overlook on the second floor. Also, there is a small Romeo and Juliet balcony overlook from the second-story game room. But as you go down the gallery, you wind up in the kitchen family room space. The family room is common to the kitchen so that if mom is in the kitchen, she's still part of the conversation in the family room. The rooms upstairs are connected by an arched and columned gallery that mirrors the one directly beneath it. And although this element ties together with the formality of the first floor, the second floor is definitely designed for casual living. Besides bedrooms, the heart of the second floor is the media room, a wood-paneled masterpiece with a 100-inch drop-down screen to watch a movie or the game while you enjoy a drink at the 16-foot-long mahogany bar. Knowing the chases were avid entertainers, Ronald designed the second floor structurally to be able to support up to 200 guests at once. The second floor game room, a lot of fun was had in that room. One of the design elements that the owner brought to the office was a photograph taken from the movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid that showed a bar. And we tried as nearly as possible to reproduce that bar upstairs. That bar is 16 feet long. There's ample seating up there both for informal visiting and viewing the 100-inch projection screen television that is accessible from a series of fold-back doors that normally conceal the screen. The master suite was sort of an interesting area of the house to work on. We had designed the sleeping quarters of the master suite to be a standard 12-foot high ceiling, but then break onto a full two-story sitting room at the extreme end that had a two-story high uh, fireplace. In addition, in the master bath, the owner requested the installation of a dome above an antique glass chandelier. Uh, the marble medallion that you see inlaid in the floor uh, and the master bath was done by local craftspeople. The wine cellar serves a couple of functions. One of the first 
request was an actual storm shelter. We decided to build this in the manner of a bank vault so that if the entire house were to collapse on top of it, it would survive the weight. But its secondary use is also that of a wine cellar, and I believe it turned out well. Getting to work on a project like this is one of the things that, that really brings joy to me as an architect. When we return, we'll talk with the home's interior designer, a longtime friend of the family, who put the finishing touches on the architect's brilliant canvas. Southern Homes and Lifestyles will be right back. Southern Homes and Lifestyles brought to you by J. Britt Antiques and Interiors and Pierce Cabinet. Whether you were looking for something old, something new, a touch of class and elegance, or that little something that speaks just to you, you can come find it at J. Britt Antiques and Interiors, located at 1993 McCullough Boulevard in Tupelo. J. Britt Antiques and Interiors is the perfect one-stop shopping place for the home decorator. Since 1993, Pierce Cabinets has proudly served North Mississippi and the surrounding area with high quality cabinetry made with strong all wood construction that will last a lifetime. Their custom finishes are the best in the industry and their in-house design staff will assist you in making your dream kitchen and bath a reality. Pierce Cabinets also offers top of the line Viking appliances. Bring your kitchen and bath to life with custom cabinets from Pierce Cabinets located at 2259 Graham Drive in Tupelo or visit piercecabinets.com. Now is a great time to enjoy one of the South's premier shopping experiences. Come to Eastgate Gallery in Tuscaloosa. You'll find a fabulous 11,000 square foot showroom displaying 12 spectacular kitchen vignettes. You'll also discover the area's widest selection of quality kitchen appliances, patio furniture, and outdoor grills. For a great shopping experience and value beyond expectations, come home to Eastgate Gallery, located in Tuscaloosa on University Boulevard. Staggs Interiors offers the personal and professional guidance you need when designing your home. Our expert design team will help with your selection of the finest oriental rugs, beautiful hardwood floors, and plush carpet. Staggs Interiors can also help select the perfect stone and tile for your kitchen and bath. For over 30 years, homeowners have trusted Staggs Interiors for their design needs. Isn't it time for Staggs Interiors to assist you? Call today for an appointment or visit Staggs Showroom, located at 903 Varsity Drive in Tupelo. A Van Atkins diamond is chosen for its excellence, brilliance, and fire. A Van Atkins semi-mount is then chosen for its intricate craftsmanship and detail. Whether the mount is a beautifully crafted piece from the past or a specially designed piece from the present, the results are the same. Wow! When you want to say forever, say it with love, say it with class, but most of all, say it with a Van Atkins diamond because you know she's worth it. Van Atkins Jewelers, historic downtown New Albany, or VanAckins.com. When it came time to choose a designer for this modern estate, the owners stayed close to home, selecting a family friend who knew just how to fuse an Asian motif with Mediterranean style. I've known David and Kara Chase for probably about 30 years. Uh, this is the third home that I've worked on for them. When we began decorating the dining room, we needed a starting point and the drapery fabric was pretty much the starting point. It's an oriental design. On the walls we chose a dirty turquoise color and then the ceilings are arched and if you look at the columns and the beams, we actually gold leafed the columns and the beams. The dining room light fixture, that is by Sarah in Atlanta. When you enter the dining room, one of the first things you notice is the length of the dining table. This was handmade in New Orleans by Mannheim Brothers. As you go past the dining room and the living room, you'll see a butler's pantry to the left. You'll see a bar area to the right. And this really works well when they have, you know, entertain it. As you enter the living room, you'll notice the chandelier. That's the, probably the largest fixture in the house. The other thing that I notice the most in the room is the family portrait. I think every room needs a large piece of furniture and we chose a break front and that's kind of what we use to display some of the family heirlooms. As you leave the foyer, if you go to the left, you'll go through a gallery that connects to the dining room, the living room, 
and then the kitchen family area. The kitchen area, you'll notice the bird's eye maple cabinets, very sleek stainless appliances that we use. When you go past the kitchen, you're in the family room. That room wanted to be friendly to the family. That's just kind of the main part of the house where they really actually live. But master bedroom, first thing you notice, the bed, well it's a canopy bed by Maitland Smith and just one of the main features of the bedroom. The master bathroom, we chose a dark paper with a touch of metal. The bathroom is large, it's very open. The sinks are hand painted and then also the faucets are gold leafed. The bathroom is complete with steam room and with sauna. When you're standing in the foyer, you can't help but notice the piano. This was bought from a famous conductor from the New York Symphony. As you look to the second floor, you'll notice a mural. This is all hand painted by Bruce Bigelow. He took pictures of the Chase's trips all over the world and he did a panel on each one of these trips. So everything about that is a little bit of history with the Chase family. Working with fabric choices as a starting point, Kelly designed each room to suit its particular purpose, while subtly linking themes to tie each room back into a cohesive whole. This delicately honed skill reveals itself on the second floor, with bedrooms reflecting the personalities of their occupants, and a media room that would outshine even the finest hotel lobby bar. As you enter the landing upstairs and you go to two bedrooms, one to the right is the guest bedroom and then you walk into the bathroom of the guest room and you'll see a real simple sheer fabric that we used around the columns of the tub. The second bedroom on that same wing is their youngest daughter's room and we wanted something younger so we decided to bring in contemporary more fun type fabrics. It's a real fun room. If you go down another gallery that gallery overlooks the living room. The third bedroom upstairs is the son's room. One of my favorite things in that room is you know, we obviously want it to be a little more masculine, so we did a heavy texture on the walls with paint. Um, and then as you go into the, the bathroom, so we came up with a mosaic design. Probably most people's favorite room in the house is the media room upstairs. We use leather sofas. We did a slate top coffee table. You can't help but notice the bar. When you work on a house for five years, you can't help but make many friends. Uh, one of my great friends is Barry Pierce. He has a cabinet shop in Tupelo, and he's the one that actually built the bar and had it installed. The back bar area is uh, fabricated out of mahogany. It has some rosewood inlays, genuine mahogany columns and capitals that go on top of the columns. The wreaths are hand carved, they're genuine mahogany as well, and we have the bar here that has the inlaid panels with rosewood also. The homeowner worked with a decorator to coordinate the granite color with the Honduras mahogany to give it a warm, rich look, to kind of give it an older look, a very satin finish on it, nothing too shiny to stand out, kind of give it that, that warm look. Up next, we'll view the sublime landscape and hear about the meticulous upkeep on the grounds. Southern Homes and Lifestyles will be right back. Southern Homes and Lifestyles brought to you by Gumdrop Fabrics and Interiors and Bank Corp South. Gumdrop Fabrics and Interiors is the one place to find all of your fabric needs. They have a tremendous selection of in-stock fabrics, tassels, and trims, as well as thousands of samples to choose from. Don't miss their incredible selection of wood and wrought iron hardware. Their decorating consultants will provide you with innovative and beautiful window treatment solutions for your home or business. They offer custom workroom services for draperies, bedding, pillows, and more. Style, quality, expertise. You can find it all at Gumdrop Fabrics and Interiors. Let us help you make your house a home. Over the next decade, 50 million Americans will buy a home. Most will not be paying cash. Whether you need a construction loan, bridge loan, permanent mortgage financing, or even a home equity line of credit, Bancorp South has the loan for you. At Bancorp South, our lenders have the experience and flexible options, plus we offer competitive loan rates. When knowledge and customer service matter most, count on Bancorp South. 
Enjoy the best of Mississippi with Mississippi Magazine. Outstanding home and garden articles, great southern recipes, profiles of unique Mississippians, day trips to out-of-the-way destinations, there's something for everyone. Subscribers receive six bi-monthly issues plus three bonus issues on home building and decorating, the great outdoors, holiday shopping, and more. Subscribe today and get Mississippi Magazine delivered right to your door. Mississippi Magazine, capturing the best of Mississippi for 25 years. For the past 100 years, four generations of craftsmen at Christie Cut Stone have been adding the natural beauty of stone to the Mid-South. Christie Cut Stone can transform architectural elements for any size project with fabricated limestone. Add a timeless look to any structure. There's a full palette of natural stone for construction and landscaping. Available in a wide variety of colors and sizes, you can enhance any indoor or outdoor project. When planning your next project, make your landmark with Christie Cut Stone and our new Highway 64 Landscaping Center. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this Mediterranean mansion's lush green landscape rivals any botanic garden. It's like having your own private park complete with two ponds. When the homeowners of this luxurious Mediterranean style home wish to create a backdrop that could stand up to the grandeur of the house itself, they recruited the assistance of landscape architect Bob Mercier to craft a lush masterpiece of scenic design. We wanted to accomplish a very elegant and pastoral scene, almost a park type setting, and one that was on the same scale of the house, which the house being rather large, the landscape needed to fit the scale of the house, which is why we have large open vistas as well as small areas that once the trees mature will create little groves of trees and little hideaways and try to sort of create a park-like setting. When you first drive in through the front gates, you're on axis with the front of the house, looking straight at the front door on a long central axis. The driveway does not follow that axis, however, the motor court that is circular is on the axis as well as the front entry fountain. We structured the entrance to be formal in the planting, and then it opens up into a large grassy area like a park would. We have little alcoves of trees scattered throughout the site, and then once you approach the front door, we dress the front of the house up again with a more formal like setting again to complement the architecture of the house and it's very symmetrical. And as you go to various sides of the house, the landscape planting is designed to complement that part of the house or the architecture of the house. While the graceful facade of the home is a work of art on its own, the verdant backyard is the true tour de force of the home's landscape design, highlighting more prominently the structure's Mediterranean features. Once you get inside the wall in the back of the house and the gardens, it's much more structured and more formal. We have a formal lawn that's bordered by a cut limestone with a medallion in the middle. And we also have some stone stepper path walks throughout the garden. And it leads to the terrace and you ascend up the steps to the upper terrace. And just to your left would be the fountain that we tweaked a little bit from the architect's original concept with it. In order to leave the vista and the view beyond the fountain open, it is a nice uh, meadow pasture type scene beyond it. On the other side of the terrace is the pool and you can go down those steps and you're at the pool level and we have that formally aligned with Chinese fringe trees on either side that flower early in the spring, a nice white bloom and have a nice glossy green leaf. And we really wanted to keep, again, the same formal content throughout the, the back of the house. Once the design and installation of many of the landscape elements were in place, the homeowners sought out the assistance of Earth Maintenance, a local groundskeeping company, to tend their rather expansive yard and aid in the layout and irrigation of a peacefully meandering stream. When you come onto the property, you notice that there's several lakes and uh, several large areas of open green spaces. I think there's actually a little less than 20 acres here that we take care of. A couple of lakes, one here behind you and one to the front yard that we uh, use to irrigate and uh, run this stream out of. The stream is pretty much self-maintained and uh, all the azalea beds and the indigenous plants we planted around it were to try to keep with the theme that she likes, uh, Mediterranean style gardens. So we like to use a lot of texture, a lot of structure, but yet a lot of color in it also with little 
pathways leading in and out. The trees here on site, we've got several old indigenous oaks and hickories and usually on a project that's this size you get a lot of compaction of the soil from the machinery and whatnot. Brought in a specialist, uh, David Fulgham with the National Tree Preservation Society. He and his father owned a business here and they were instrumental in saving a lot of these trees. Many elements and design ideas come into play to ultimately create the gorgeous and flourishing scenery that places this home in the company of truly magnificent homes. It's always building on the theme that around each corner